Tampa right now. There are a few points that we're going to highlight right now in our tropics check, and the closest one is in the Western Caribbean. We were monitoring this uh, for several days last week and monitoring its west northwestward trajectory. It's still moving in that direction, but it's been going through some dry air, so its overall ability to really ramp up has been slowed considerably. Nonetheless, still going to be a source of moisture for the Yucatan moving into the southwestern Gulf. This will stay off to our south, so that's not going to have any significant impact on our regional weather going into this week. This week, other zones in the open Atlantic do have various levels of strengthening potential. Vigorous wave just off of West Africa and one that's still kind of ragged looking, but it's in a portion of the atmosphere where the winds are light and the waters are sufficiently warm, so it is being investigated as a disturbance that does have some long range potential. So we do have a series of forecast guidance tracks that show its own ideas of where it may go. And it seems like in the latest runs, it continues to make move to the northwest and then showing a little bit of a curve that goes more to the north off the east coast of the United States. So the trend does favor that that system, whatever becomes of it, stays over water, but there's still plenty of time to monitor it. And you know, we still have not had that Danielle name yet. That's still the next name that will be given to the next developed tropical storm. It's been 57 days since we've had a named storm stretching all the way.